Hey everybody, this is Brian Goulet of the Goulet Pen Company and Inknubo.com and I wanted to shoot a quick video here real quick um, just to show you um, I've got some ink that's behind the piston seal of my converter for one of my pens and I wanted to show you how to repair that. I didn't think that it was possible previously but uh, as soon as I posted on the blog today about it um, someone gave me a suggestion and it worked really well so I thought it garnered a video so I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you this neat little trick. All right, so here I have a Pelican Pelicano. Now this is uh, nothing specific about the pen, except that it uses this uh, universal type cartridge. This is uh, probably the most common type of cartridge converter that's out there. There are other ones, like for example, um, here's one that's for a Lamy pen. Um, it is different, but uh, this is probably the most common one out there. There's a lot of different brands that have different proprietary ink cartridges, uh, sorry, cartridge converters. And uh, the cool thing about these pens is that you can put cartridges in them or you can put these converters to use uh, bottled ink. But if you can see in this scenario, now I have um, kind of taken this to the extreme, but this is an example of what happens when ink gets behind the piston seal in the converter. Now this is the part that connects to the back of the nib feed here. So when you're drawing ink up through the pen, it goes into the body of the converter. But you notice here there's ink behind the seal of the converter. This happens from time to time. It's not extremely common, but it's common enough where I think it garners a video to explain how to remedy the situation. Now, when I originally um, posted a blog about this, I noticed that uh, you know I wasn't able to disassemble the thing at all, but somebody posted that they are actually disassemblable. So I tried again harder. Um, it did take a bit of force for me to get it off, but this back um, metal part here does unscrew which is kind of cool, and I didn't realize that before, so, uh, you know, my bad. <laughs> but this part comes off. Now, there's actually two pieces here. The metal ring holds on this part, which is, um, uh, let me see if I can get you some detail here. But uh, there you go. You can see it's got a little latch on there, and that fits into this little notch. And that's what holds it in place as it screws from side to side. So let me see if I can get you a decent picture there. There you go. So you see, um, that wants to move up and down, and that ring is what holds that on there. So as you screw it side to side, that's what causes the piston to move up and down. But you see, you can actually just pull the whole thing off. It's got this threaded rod here that connects to the back of the piston seal. And if you unscrew that all the way, you can actually just pull the whole thing straight out or you can unscrew this and then just do it by hand and pull it straight out. Now what I have here is a paper towel because this is going to get a little bit messy since I do have some ink there and your, ink, your hands are definitely going to get inky. So as you pull it out you're going to pull out a big glob of ink okay, and you want to wipe off the whole thing. Preferably even wash it off with water because that's what it's going to take to really get this thing completely clean. Now, um, all you need to do is take this whole part, rinse it out with water, and then what I would recommend to make things move along smoothly is take some silicone grease. Grease up around the piston seal and maybe grease it up on here too to make it so that the whole thing moves smoothly. And uh, let me go ahead and try to clean this part out at least as much as I can. I think if you just rinse it with water you're going to be better off than what I'm doing here but for the sake of shooting this video I'm just trying to do this kind of quick so I can at least give you an idea of what's going on. Okay so I'm getting some of the ink out there and you see it's just a clear body of this thing and the whole thing is actually a relatively simple design so it's not overly complicated to do this. I doubt you're going to lose any parts or make it really hard to uh, put the thing back together. Okay so now I have a clean body I have a clean piston seal, so I can just insert that and just kind of squeeze it back in there. Then this part, it's um, you can see it's kind of uh, flat on two sides, and the part that it receives into it is flat as well. So you just got to make sure that that fits on there. And then when you put it back in, you just have to make sure that that part lines up, screws right in, and then you're good to go put the metal ring back on and you can see there it's threaded so you just thread the metal ring back on and there you go you're all clean
So that's it, it's pretty simple. I'm uh, actually a little embarrassed that I didn't figure that out for myself, but that's part of the reason I love having this blog is because I like to get feedback from people and uh, somebody who has figured things out. I'm happy to share it with everybody and, and you know have a good platform to share this kind of information. So if you have any other really neat tips and tricks and ideas, please let me know. Email me at brian at and uh, thanks a lot and right on.